Hello, hello! Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Uh, here we go, we're continuing on our battle save. I can't believe I've only spent one hour and I'm already on Chapter 3. Uh, probably gonna fuck it up. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So what can you do here? Wind edge, wind edge, and then kill him next turn? Sounds good, sounds good. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Uh, Soth could also kill him. Alternatively, we could let Soth run down here to the thicket. And he'll be fine because he's Soth. Too far. We don't get too ambitious now. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So you only lose one speed from your axe now, which is fantastic. Okay, so I think we're just gonna have you halt and wait. And we're gonna wait it out like this. Let's see, okay. We got these thickets causing all sorts of movement issues for people. It'll be fine. Oh no! Anyway. Oh no! Actually, ow, yeah, that hurt. Oh, but he also got hurt. Good stuff. We say chip. Chip. Oh, baby. You know I want some of that steel sword. You know, Makaya can one shot you, right? Gonna be delicious. Dun, 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 dun. Don't want to get too ambitious here, but maybe we want to get a little bit ambitious. Yeah, I'm gonna use the card a little bit. I actually kind of want to save it to sell it, because it's not really that good. Uh, and every group in this game, except for a uh, specific one you'll see later, they all kind of struggle in part two as, as far as funding is concerned. Uh, let's see here. What can Ileana do? What can Makaya do? an eye out on those guys, shall we? Okay. Drop a train on him. Oh, that was kind of a stagger there. Not exactly sure how good the ISO is at rendering all the magical effects. Might be a good idea for me to, uh try to render them in, like, uh, like put my mages on field effects or something, I don't know. I have the full ISO, I don't have the in Inkato or whatever the fuck it's called. But, uh, how do you do against your fellow archer? Oh, you do not do very well at all. Okay, Nolan, what about you? Let's see. So, Laura, you... Leo, you push. You push, Micaiah. Laura, you staff Nolan. Micaiah, you, you walk on through and you... 
look at the guys, and then you say to this guy, Hey, I like dropping trains down, guys. It's my uh, reason to add the and uh, my hypno hips have confused you. Oh no! Okay, I think we'll be okay. We might not be okay. Okay, yeah, he wanted to heal AI. I was actually kind of hoping he would attack Makaya, but eh. Can't always get what we want. Ow. Ow. I'm really glad I gave Nolan that Draco shield. Really glad I gave Nolan that Draco shield. Okay, so Laura needs two spots. And quite honestly needs, like, two spots in a clear out. Two spots in a clearance sale is what she needs. Okay, let's see here. What can we do? Alright, good job, Edward. Okay, and I don't like this archer, so wait a minute, just I get the boss out here. It does, and I'm not sure if I want that. So I just want to make sure I kill this archer, though. I don't like archers, they're very accurate, and enemy archers are really deadly. They, they come packing steel bows. They just want to one-shot Micaiah all day long. You know how it is. Oh my god, you still can't reach him? <sighs> okay. Let's see. Ooh, you can double, but it's not good. Let's see. Ooh, you can almost kill that guy. Let's see. Can you double him with the Steel Axe? You can, and it's slightly more accurate, but you're close to death. Um. What's your attack power? 21. Take 17 from this Lance guy. So, so we gotta kill the axe guy. We absolutely have to kill the axe guy. Okay, good stuff, good show. You know, I didn't even look at Laura being killable by... Oh dear. Okay. This is our light tone. And, uh, hopefully, that guy. Good level up, good level up. But hopefully, that guy, the blue guy there, will talk to Laura. Yeah, sure you will. You missed. Oh, he's attacking. Okay, I'm fine with this. There's no way that he doubles. And oh, nice dodge! Wow, oh, it's working out. It's working out. Aaron, I can't believe it. It is you. Not since a family of merchants from Binyon put me in.
Oh, bother. I'm Winnie the Pooh now. Okay, so, we got this guy, he's got a wind edge. Makaya can drop a train on him. But, we need for someone to shove her. Fortunately, we've got lots and lots of people with the ability to shove. But also, we want to steal the discipline scroll from him. Because it's good EXP for Soth, for one thing, and for another thing, uh... Okay, ugly. Don't you know the rule of Fire Emblem? If you're ugly, you're the bad guy. Nineteen attack? Yeah, she'll live. Okay, but that hand axe guy, you see. Gonna shove Makaya out of the way. Gonna get Edward down there. Equip the wind edge. Gonna tell our honey boo boos to get on down here. One thing that's really nice about Radiant Dawn is they updated it. You can select your lord at any time to change your orders and your direct. And it's it is a godsend. An utter godsend. Hey, I don't like archers. So get fucked. Ow. Oh, I'll be okay. Yay! Yay! I love when things attack off. Gives them free XP. Look at that, they can't even touch him. He's untouchable. Untouchable. Oh boy. Oh, you missed. Oh, and no one also missed. Well, drop a train on him, Makaya. Thick thighs save lives. And honestly, your butt's almost as good looking as my girlfriend's. Say almost, because, I mean, not quite. You're not quite there. You're not quite thick enough. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Well, it would really help if Ileana was down here. Still for having her fricassee an archer, though. Heal you, boo. Now, the nice thing about Eren is, for once, someone in the Dom Brigade actually has HP. Also, he has pretty good defense. Uh, normally, he's really tanky. He, he likes to get a lot of strength, skill, and defense. Unfortunately, even though he has decent starting HP, he doesn't like getting HP or speed. So eventually he kind of, in my experience, falls off and kind of gets his ass handed to him and dies a miserable death. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Of course, I have had him hold out in a lot of spots where I didn't expect him to. So I assume he does just fine. 
if you invest in him properly or thoroughly. But I wouldn't know. I've never invested in him beyond... Um, beyond... Just like the minimal usage. And I can say that about a lot of Down Brigade members. It's quite unfortunate. Wow, uh, you can't double with the sword. Ugh. Okay, you can double with the iron sword, but... Man, that's some sadness. Okay. I'm just gonna have you wait right there, Eddie. I knew you couldn't resist attacking my vulnerable Edward. Ow. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know if that's bad or good. Probably bad. But I think Soth is blocking the way. Good level. He's probably guaranteed to die now. Okay, thank god. Ow. Good job, Ileana. Oh, that's cute. I think you're a match for Soph. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, Leo, can you shoot this guy and actually kill him? No, you cannot. Okay. And you are... Yeah, in desperate need of healing in order to kill him. And I think we'd have to shove... Dooflotch it. I don't want to shove Dooflotch it right now. Alright, Laura's first level up. Nice! It always does me good to see a healer get speed. Double nice! Good job, Ileana. Alright, Leo, as the most expen expendable of the Don Brigade, I... Don't give a french fried fuck about you. Soth, go ahead the tank. Some sacrifice. Give Edward some HPs. Oh snap, I should have equipped the Wind Edge. I was a fool! No, oh, but at least you dodged. Alright, everything's coming up. Us. Oh nice, dagger level up. Oh no! Running, running, run, run, Rudolph, feeling like a merry-go-round, run, run. Okay, we're just barely gonna get the hell out of here by the seat of our pants. Let's see. Oh, we need to kill that guy. Aaron, can you do me a solid and kill that guy? This is a map where, like, you can't really turtle up forever. Because, one, they're expecting you to escape. And, two, like, every turn from here on out, two guys are going to appear back here and keep coming down. And eventually, a couple guys are going to appear here. And some more guys are going to appear here. And, like, we're just going to get boxed in and killed. So it's, like, really not, not bueno. No, no bueno. No good. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
do you do with the iron spear? You don't even double. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe if we take a Nolan and do a pro gamer move, we can hit him and then maybe finish him with Edwi. Ow. We're gonna level up. Please get a defense and a speed. <sighs> okay, whatever. Finish him off, Edward. Yeah! Taste my refreshment. Okay. So that's gonna move forward. And go ahead and attack with his dagger. Because he can. Yeah, my dogs are barking again, of course. Settle down. Mary Jane. Mary Jane! It's okay, just because Max is barking downstairs doesn't mean you gotta bark up here. Oh snap, you're going. You're going for self. Because you can't shoot through the, the post. Which honestly, I'm thankful for. cornered here. I say somewhat because like we actually are like totally cornered here. Um, Him. Okay. How do you do against him? Hmm, this is no no good, no good, no good at all. Okay, so we might lose a Leonardo. I don't know if he's still a game over condition or not. So what we could do is we could make a battle save right now, and if Liliana dies, we could make a the club. Um, let's see, what's what's something that this bow guy couldn't resist? Um, Bow guy can only reach the sword guy can't reach anyone, so the bow guy is only going to shoot one person. So we don't need to have any suicidal martyr martyr things happen. Just need to move here probably. And I think it'll be okay. As far as this goes right here, I think we can't get a, like a cheap kill with Edward here. <laughs> this sword guy, and we also got this bow guy. I don't like either one of them. Kill that, yeah, kill the sword guy, so I don't care for him. 
Oh wow, Soth has been hit again. That's beautiful. Is this bow guy gonna like double? Okay, no, he's not gonna double. That's good. Well, actually, he could double Aaron. But Aaron will live, unless he gets crit. So, it's better than Laura getting bamboozled. So, I thought I was in trouble there for a second, but... Nah, we, we good. Okay. First, we're gonna direct you to target here. And then we're gonna kill this guy with our light tone, because conserve the Thani. You don't really need to conserve the Thani, but it's just annoying. They gave you the light tome, and like, then they give you the Thani right away. And the Thani is like better in every conceivable way. And, uh. Micaiah is almost an. Uh. Almost a player phase unit. Oh, it's a shame that didn't hit. Probably would have hit if, you know, he hadn't rescued Laura, but if he hadn't rescued Laura, we'd be ultra super mega boned. Okay, so I think we can drop Laura there. And I'd love to stay in chat, but y'all are total bitches. I think we can just escape with Micaiah and get victory. Um, I'm gonna do a battle save before I do that, though. Now, with Iliana here, I'm gonna use an L Thunder and try to spike on this style on this archer just because we can. Okay, Leonardo, your time your time has come. With bad bio rhythm, kill a, kill an archer who's better than you in every conceivable way. Thank you. I'll teach him. Okay. Now, I think every unit we have escape, other than Micaiah, gets us a little bit of bonus EXP. But uh, we really can't wait around. So, it's a little bit sad, but I'll take victory over, um, you know, deaths. See? It all works out. Who would have thought that Binyan would rule with such an iron fist? They're only called an empire. They make me miss Ashnard. Well, aren't you guys like traveling merchants? Like, we met you in fucking Gallia. Like, were you ever on board with Dane at all? The hell he didn't! They ravaged the citizenry! Oh, we got literally all the merchants from the first game that helped the Grails out. Left an orphan behind. Well, I already told you who that was in my spoilers towards the end of Path of Radiance, but these characters don't know that, and no one knows who, who it actually is. So, prepare for the pretender to the throne. East near the Desert of Death, trying to raise an army to lay claim to the throne. Shall we go there? In the desert, an important encounter awaits us. It shall be one that changes the shape of our future. Oh, thanks. That's super, super fucking vague, and it's totally not at all based on what you just heard. Alright, let's keep going. We're 30 minutes into this, and we're finally going to get our convoy and our, uh... Our merchants. The ability to forge, I think. I think. I think we get all this on this chapter. I'm, I'm not 100%.
Also, excuse me. Okay, yes, we do. We do. And we get info conversations, too. In town. Okay, so she senses someone. And enter Meg. Looks to be an armor knight. Okay. Looking for someone. Someone very important. Someone close to my heart. Yeah, we could use another body. To be meat shields for Makaya. Can we have a word with you? Ame, Mustan, how may I help you? Relax, honey, I'm here to talk about our business. You like to shop, don't you? Let me guess, you want to sell us weapons and other items, am I right? That's right, our inventory changes depending on where we are and what time it is. But one thing is always the same, we guarantee fair prices, so stop by whenever you can. Do you carry tomes? Yep, fire, thunder, wind, light, we got your basics covered. My shop also has lots of staves and medicine. Oh, and I have recently made some key connections. Now I carry some very rare items. They're one of a kind and very valuable. You should ha come have a look. Rare weapons, too. Honestly, you should buy them before someone else does. At these prices, they're bound to sell quickly. Well, that's our spiel. Thanks for listening. Do come by. We'll be waiting. Hold on one sec. I gotta let my dog out. Again. She's very persnickety. Sorry about that. Alright, let's keep going. More merchants. Well, hello. Don't mind us. We won't take but a moment of your time. Hello, George. Hello, Daniel. We just wanted to tell you a little about what we can do for you. I've already told her. George will buy from us any items or weapons that we no longer need, and Daniel... Hey, excuse me. We're here to talk to Micaiah, not to some stuffy know-it-all punk. George, don't be rude. I'm sorry about that stuff. Anyway, we just wanted to tell you about some changes we've made to our business. Alright, then I'll keep my mouth shut as long as Daniel does the talking. Thank you. So what do you have, Daniel? Hey, thanks for asking. I've got a guy who's a master blacksmith. He makes weapons you wouldn't believe, and they're not available anywhere else. Hey, thanks a lot, George. I make weapons too. Pretty good ones, if I do say so myself. It's just, you know, customs have been extremely tight lately. Raw materials are so hard to come by. Which reminds me, if you ever have weapons you don't need, would you sell them to us? Yes, please. Actually, even better, sell me your weapons, and I'll give them to Daniel. Then he can smelt them down and use the steel for newer, shinier pieces. It costs some money to upgrade weapons, but... Hey, let's face it, it's worth the money. Owning a custom-made weapon sets you apart from the common soldier. Oh, and here's a one-time-only deal. I won't even charge you materials for your first upgrade. Pretty nice, huh? Now, you have no excuse to not, not to come by. Got that, Micaiah? Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, one last thing. If you ever bring me a coin, I'll give you a little bonus on whatever I'm making for you. They're very rare, so be sure to hang on to them. Don't sell them to some stranger. That's literally all the coins from the first game. You can also find them in this game, a few, spread throughout. But yeah, the coins actually, most of them come from Path of Radiance. Just watching the desert, huh? My homeland is ringed with mountains. Yep, you're Kurthnaga. Don't even try to pretend. Fucking dragon. Turn into a dragon and help us. God, I would love to be able to use Kurthnaga right now. Dear God. Okay, we've got supports now, too. And as you can see, they've got an A. So there's no reason to break that up unless you just hate them. 
Uh, as far as Edward goes, uh, we want to support him with Nolan so that they get they both get stuff they desperately need, defense and avoid and hit rate. Uh, Leo, we could support with somebody, but we're not going to right now because there's no one open. I mean, I guess he could support with Laura, but she supports with Aaron. Right, they're a couple, okay? Um, I don't know. Uh, we want to sell some stuff. We want to go ahead and sell... Let's see. Where was that card? Yeah, we're going to sell the card, because it's worth over a thousand money. And... Honestly, we don't need chest keys or door keys, but we might keep them around. Um, I'm going to give Micaiah the discipline skill so she gets some light magic skill ups. And then, let's see, we don't want to give any bonus EXP out. We do have some, but the thing about bonus EXP levels in this game is they only give three stat increases. Now, they're guaranteed to give three stat increases, but it's based on the unit's growth rate. So, like, if you were to give it to Makaya, for instance, she would probably get magic, luck, and resistance. They're not as good as regular level ups. But, once you cap out stats, the bonus EXP levels are still guaranteed to give three stat ups. So, what basically what you use them for is either you really need to pump a uh, unit up in level so you can promote them early or to round out people as they start capping out. And uh, we might try doing that. Now, let's go over Meg a little bit, right? Meg's come in. She's got, what is it, Heaven Affinity? I think. I think she's got Heaven Affinity. Okay. Oh, yeah, Heaven. Okay. Uh, she's an armor knight. She's, she uses swords. Uh, she starts with 10 strength, so she's not... She's she's barely weighed down by even a steel sword, but she's only got 8 speed. But on the other hand, she's level 3 and she's got 21 HP. So, and 10 defense. So she's actually not too terrible right off the bat for the Dawn Brigade. Like, she can fill in gaps just about as well as anybody else. Her main problem is her 5 movement. Um, and just the fact that, like, well, I mean, she's kind of weird. Her growths are also kind of atrocious for what an armor knight's supposed to be. She's apparently got, like, a really high speed growth, um, but, like, a mediocre defense growth and mediocre HP growth as well. So she suffers from all the same typical issues as all the rest of the Dawn Brigade. It's really sad. Also, she's Brom's daughter, and I don't remember if she said that already or not. But, uh, yeah, maybe she did, maybe she didn't. Now, we want to go to the shop real quick. We want to buy this Beast Killer. Um, it's really, really good for the next map. It's south only right now. And, uh, it'll come in quite handy. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this other hand axe. Because you can never have enough hand axes in this game. And... I guess the mint staff wouldn't hurt to have for Laura. Uh, I don't really think we need another javelin yet. I mean, it probably couldn't hurt to have it, but I don't know. You know what? Actually, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead, go ahead and buy that javelin, and then we're going to sell. Steel bow, because fuck you, Leonardo. And uh, we'll go ahead and sell the regular light tome as well. Let's see if I can't use that Thanny up before the game, you know, tells me I can't have it. And we'll go ahead and try out the forge option. We want to forge an iron axe because no one is still weighed down by a steel one. We're just gonna increase the attack power all the way. Add just three crit and some hit. And honestly, let's see. Well, that's already pretty good, right? And that's not too expensive. 
there's suddenly a jump, right? There's suddenly a jump. So we're going to stop right there where the jump starts. And let's see. kind of like making it this gold color. And we'll name it... One thing uh, that's nice about this game is we can actually forge uh, knives, like actual knives, uh, that Soth will actually throw. This one will name, I think it's German for blue, we're going to name it Blau. And, uh,. Put that itself. Yeah, we spent almost all of our money, so we don't need to really spend any more money. Make a save. I'll make a separate save now. And uh, let's go ahead and go. Presence that calls out to you. Okay. Everybody, be on your guard. Must have been the Lugus. What makes you say that? What do you think it would be like to change into a bird or a dragon as the Lugus can? Being part beast is one thing, but being able to transform into that beast with more strength than we could ever imagine? I mean, they could build a place like this before breakfast. Well, maybe the dragon's good because they got opposable thumbs. But the beasts and the birds? Yeah, well, the birds could help. I mean, they're pretty huge. But the beasts? Nah, they, they, they're they better off staying in human form to do any building. Man, Soth learned a lot. When I met Ike during the war three years ago and fought beneath him, he made me realize this. Here I thought you were saying something enlightened. You're just talking about him again? What do you mean, again? Soth, sometimes every other thing you say is an ode to Ike. I know you fought beside him, I know you owe him your life, and I know you want to be just like him. But to the people of Dane, he's the man who crushed us three years ago. Some would even call him our arch enemy. Micaiah, don't be a stupid little bitch. You know that Ashnard invaded Crimea under false pretenses to... Like, you were just going on about how... Like, racism is bad against Lagus. The entire war was orchestrated on the premise of racism. Okay? I don't really get into the cosmic justice very often, or social justice or whatever, but, like, the thing you just cared about very deeply is the reason that, that Ashnar predicated his war upon to invade and slaughter Crimea, where he ravaged the citizenry for a full year. What Ike did was a slight retaliation against that, and he didn't ravage the citizenry and offered them uh, aid as he swept through, obliterating mainly the Dane military, whereupon he didn't stay and moved on and killed Ashnard, okay? Oh my god, it would be worse, because you'd still be super duper racist. It's also really hard to, like, you know, like, take her seriously, being like, Oh, I care so much about you, Soth. She tried to abandon him three years ago. Uh-oh, it's this Fire Emblem staple. This time they're Lagoos. And this time they're on an indoor map. But it is still in the desert, so it still counts. These guys show up all the time in Fire Emblem. And, uh... 
they're always a twin boss deal. Uh, they're always really big and strong and tough. And they're always in the desert almost all the time. And, uh... Well, this time they're Tiger Lagoos. And they're actually not that strong. But, uh, they'll probably hit pretty hard regardless. Now this is sort of like a pseudo-defense map. You got these breakable walls, and you got all these strong Tiger Lagoos that can break through them pretty easy. And a couple of hits. The game just gave us a bunch of ranged options. You can fire the ranged options through these walls. So, like, the idea is to kind of try to, like, you know, do that. Uh, well, you know, you, you got some behind you and stuff. What we're gonna do is basically leave these walls alone and, like, try to break out of here. Um, let's see, I want you... Oh, no. Like, this will be okay. We'll see how this works. Alright, let's go. Drop a train on him, okay? Good stuff. Heck, can you kill it? No, you can't. You could get some chip, though. Let's see. What about you, Liam Mardo? Let's see. Hmm. You could make Meg able to kill it. Man, you got 20 XP just for chipping that tiger. Alright, go, Meg. Go. I believe in you. Oh, she's got a shield that's not the same color as her armor, just like her old man. Only 37 for a tiger kill? What the fuck? Man, I got more for chipping than we did for, for killing. Gives. Oh, snap. Ileana crit. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Just deleting tigers around here. And then, you want Nolan to move out here and equip the Reaver, so he's not weighed down at all. And then we'll put Soth in front of Leonardo. Um, not really sure what to do with these two, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this tiger's coming in. And it's all like, yeah, I'm breaking through the wall, matey. You know, I need to get Edward down there near Nolan so that Nolan has his support buddy. That's how you build supports. You get adjacent, you, you trigger the support and stuff as much as possible. All right, Ileana. Good level up, good level up. Show. Uh, I don't know if I should drop the train on him or if I should... Eh, let's see. Move Soth back there, and Soth can use his daggers that I made for him. Oh, that would probably be a waste of EXP, though. Let's just equip the bronze dagger and wait. I don't know why I was scared, though. Maybe I'm getting, like, preemptively scared too much. Alright, Meg, get him. Show him who's boss. Oh yeah, Mega's boss. All right, Leonardo. Or not, Le man. I am fucked with doing the right names. Oh, that's an attack kill. But nah. Do the conversing. 
the attacking. Okay, and then Makaya does the finishing off. Oh, Makai, don't 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 try looking good. Don't don't try looking like you're like some sort of Lord Pent or something. Slut. Okay, and then we move Nolan forward, just enough so that uh, his. Hold on a second. How close are you to transforming? You're really close to transforming, so you probably transform next turn. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to use the ball right just in case. And, uh... Nah, I don't know. Yeep! Alright, supports are a go. Ow. Can't double the tiger, though. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. So I was right to worry. Man, the chippy XP on these is insane. And all of a sudden, Ileana can double it. Like magic. Oh, chess keys. How about that? Okay, let's. See. Okay, you can't double there, Leo. So what can you do? Oh, you can exact kill it. Go for it, babe. Feed the Makaya. But will she get any speed? The answer is yes. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, and she got a weapon level up. Don't see that very often. Okay, and you're just gonna stand still. And you're gonna move over here and attack it. Get that chip. That chip level up. Yeah. Good boy, Edward. Okay, Meg, let's see, what can we do with you? Well, this tiger here, this other tiger here, and you probably won't kill either of those tigers. They've got 10 speed. Okay, okay. So, yeah, 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 Meg, yeah. Okay, okay, we're gonna make you a choke point here, Meg. We're gonna make you a choke point. Mm. It's gonna be delicious. kill that. Okay. Well, why don't we just... Eh, well, no, we don't want to waste that any more than necessary. Then again... You know, what we can do is we can actually unequip his items when he gets attacked and can't counter. That's a beautiful thing. Ouch. You're sturdy, Meg. You're sturdy. I believe in you, joke character. Wow, hey, I was talking shit about your defense growth. Ouch. Okay, let's see. You move. Okay, um, Leonardo, you get out of the way, and Javelin Boy, you Javelin it. Good Javelin Boy. And you, you Sacrifice on Meg. Okay, 
and then you use the Wind Edge. Probably don't crit or do anything, but it's fine. It's fine because no one can actually reach Nolan. Although, if you transform, then your move will go up to 9. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so no one, no one can reach Nolan, that's fine. He can converse to raise his support rank, and then he can kill. And he's going to kill the Reaver to guarantee a hit rate. Good job, Nolan. Noice. But will you get a Noice level up? Yes, you will. Man, you're wanting me to use you. Beautiful. Eliana, carrying the Dawn Brigade with Thunder Magic, even though I didn't use her in Path Radiance. Okay, I'm gonna move down here because people are in desperate need of healing. And Meg is not gonna do jack shit because that guy can freaking double her. Actually, she will shove Micaiah back. Say, Micaiah, you are too close to the danger. You're too close to the action. Cut it out, Micaiah, cut it out. And then Soth is actually going to run over here. And equip the Beast Killer. And steal this guy's chest keys just because he can for more EXP. No special dialogue. Just Soth killing the shit out of this tiger boss. One tiger boss. Toast! Soth with a bunch of leveling. Man, you really miss Blossom, don't you? Ow. Good job, Meg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got some... some... rough customers. Ooh, 3,000 gold. Okay, but Ileana's gonna want to run away now. Because bitches. And you're gonna heal Micaiah. Also, because bitches. The javelin boy is gonna javelin. Good job, javelin boy. And you're gonna sacrifice on Meg. Meg is gonna be all like, Yeah, my bi rhythm's at best, baby. Suck it, tiger. Guy's gonna be able to move soon. And your movement is what? Seven as well? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the other guy's like one tile closer, so yada yada yada. Heal up as Nolan. Yada yada yada. Take your bitch boy with you. Leo still has to move. I guess he can come help too or something. I don't know. Probably could have shoved Ileana. It would have been better. Oh no, South! Oh no, South! You're getting too, too, too much chippy XP off these lagoos. Oh, well, if you're just gonna be that stupid about it, Pain. Jeez, okay, um... Oh, you're blocked in. You got... You don't got Vuln Race. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, um... Well, in that case, uh... 
yeah, I guess just kill the shit out of this tiger. I don't, I don't want you getting boxed in and killed. I think you're a game over condition until like part four. It's not ideal for our EXP gains, but no, well, pretty much can't ever do ideal EXP gains for Don Brigade. Kiliana's got a chest key. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna go and give that to Meg. So that soft doesn't have to do all the work. Oh, a pure water. It's a pretty handy item. Okay. Now we can kill this boss in his human form. Uh. But we'll get more EXP if he's in his Lagoose form. So, uh, should be okay. And even Leo can double him. Don't know why he didn't shift, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Mm. Airing up some, maybe. Oh wow, okay, he came off a came off a soft right quick and in a hurry. Works for me. That was a gorgeous level up, Aaron. Alright there, Budro. You're coming at a guy who's got supports. Just want you to know that. Tiger do this off. Nine damage. And how much does this cat do this off? One damage. Okay. And can you shift next turn? No, you cannot. Okay, so we're gonna leave that guy alone. We're gonna kill this cat. Because we need to go get that treasure box. That's on the northeastern section of the uh Oh, beautiful level up. It's about time you got a beautiful level up, you sixteen year old. Meg is gonna slow but steady march her way up. And, um. No one's gonna go ahead and get another level up, maybe, if he hits it with his hand axe. Good stuff, good stuff. Could've been worse, could've been worse. I don't believe any um, Lagoos come in from the south, but I could be wrong. Oh my, okay. Came right quick and in a hurry for uh, Edward. Because one tiger is just awkwardly following Soth around like, I'm gonna kill you. I swear it, I'll kill you. And Soth is just like, yeah, sure, whatever, man. Get to where? Okay, good. Okay, so we use the wind edge and we maybe trigger a crit, right? Yeah! yeah. Now then you come up on Nolan and you say, hey, I like using sacrifice to get EXP. And Nolan says, hey, 
I like getting sacrificed so that I don't die. And Nolan says, Steel Axe, chance is worth it. Save that forge a little bit. Use the heavier weapon, get better levels. Etc, etc. My name is Hu. My name is Wu. My name is Meg. There's like also treasure you can find in the gold piles, I think. Depending upon luck. Not 100% sure on it. But, uh... Meg is about to be fighting this tiger. Ouch. Get that chip, Meg. Get that chip. Oh, and you're standing next to a heal potty. That's good. Get that treasure chest. Oh yeah, Seraph Robe. That's very important for Micaiah to have. You could give it to anyone. I like giving it to Micaiah for a very specific chapter a little later on. And I actually really want her to have it, like, ASAP, so... That's just what we're gonna do. You gonna crit or chip? Crit or chip? Crit or chip? Oh, you're critting. Okay, well, we don't get the trade, then. Should have thought about that, I guess. It's okay, though. Could be worse. You're just jealous. Wait, I hear something. I can't hear anything. Someone's singing. That's coming from over there. Micaiah, wait. The hmm. heron with two wolves? One of the wolves has an eye patch. And Micaiah's bird just landed on the heron. The heron looks like a woman. But the voice sounds masculine. And the wolves are actually Lagus. I am Raphael. A voice guided me here, was it yours? No, but I heard a voice that guided me here as well. Someone or something may want us both here. You're Lagus, aren't you? One of the heron clan and two of the beast tribe, right? That's correct, Bjork youth. Your white wings reveal you're of the Heron royal family. Are you related to Prince Rayson by any chance? Rayson? My younger brother? You know of him? You could say that. We served in the same company for a while. What? You are suggesting that my brother is still alive? Yes, he is still alive. As far as I know, your father the king and the princess Leanne are as well. Unless something's happened, all three of them live in the royal palace of Gallia, a country of the beast tribe. Unbelievable! My father and my sweet Leanne. They're still with me, oh goddess. I'm not alone, not anymore. Ah. Uh, Raphael, oh, she's hot. Oh, he's also hot. I'm Nela, Queen of Hatari. And this is Volug, my loyal servant. Our kingdom lies east, far east of here. Huh, off the map? There's a country on the other side of the desert? As I said, we have just traveled from there. Until we met Raphael, we didn't know that there were countries on this side of the desert. After all, no one had ever crossed the desert of death and lived to tell of it. Without Raphael's guidance, we would have never have survived the crossing. My people, the Heron Clan of Serenis, were blamed for the murder of Binyan's Empress. Binyan's mobs rose up in rage and massacred them. I had thought the whole of my clan, my entire race, had been wiped out. I wandered the desert in despair. Hey, look, they spelled despair right this time. If not for the queen, I would have died. In Hatari, I vowed to dedicate my life to her. And yet every night for these past three years, a voice has called out to me. Day by day, it has grown stronger. Until the voice led me to you all. Your news brings such joy. Father, Rayson, Leanne, my beloved family, my thanks to thee. Oh, goddess. Oh. Raphael, you talk too much. Control yourself. You, Bjork, what's the best route to Gallia? For a group of lagoos, traveling through the dang countryside would be suicide. It would take you longer, but we could take you as far as Crimea. 
We would be grateful. By all means, let's travel together. But why go to Crimea? Why not travel directly to Gallia? Entering Gallia by yourselves would be nearly impossible. The man you need to get you into Gallia actually resides in Crimea. That man, Ike, is in contact with King Conegus and his advisors. There's no doubt in my mind that he's the man you need. Right. Lord Ike, hero, hero of the Crimean Liberation, leader of the Grail Mercenaries, and father of Soth's children. I'd laugh at that, but I, I don't find Micaiah funny. Like, I mean, it's funny the first time you see it, but, like, I've played through this game so many times. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll the see you next time. Of Talius.